You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is a drag race. Why do you have a helmet? It's scary. It's got, I like my life. <laughs> A GT500 has 760 horsepower, but if you want north of 800, you'll need one of these, a Shelby Super Snake Mustang from Shelby American, an independent entity from Ford. We actually attempted this race once before, but the Mustang was in an earlier stage of tune and has since been rebuilt and updated and is now making a claimed 825 horsepower. So yeah, it might just be a Mustang GT conversion with a wide body, but now it has Dodge Demon fighting numbers. Without its Demon Crate goodies and without race gas, the Dodge only has 808 horsepower available, and it's heavy. So on paper, this is technically unfair. Both of these cars are rear wheel drive, but only one was meant for quarter mile runs. So when the legends at Safe Auto did what they do best and carefully delivered these vehicles to us in the morning, I was feeling confident because the demon always has a trick up its sleeve. Let's see what happens. Okay, so guess what? Both of these cars are owned by the same owner and he gave them to us number one, because he's an absolute legend, but also because he's just very, very curious what happens when you put them together on a quarter mile. However, these two cars represent two different things. That is the ultimate version of a car that has no grip off the line, and this is the ultimate version of a car that spins off and hits crowds. I also feel like a part of that is he doesn't care about our lives because this car is absurd. Okay, the Dodge Demon. Now, a lot of you see me launch this car before, and you've all said that I can't launch a demon, but the truth is I've been practicing for several years now driving a demon and on a non-prepped drag strip like this, this is a street course, there's no grip. These are drag radials, they're literally meant for a drag strip, okay? So I'm doing everything I can. The trans brake doesn't really work out here and these are both on 94 octane. We're not using the full 840 horsepower that the demon can get on race gas. Don't forget, this is to simulate a street race. If these two cars pulled up next to each other at a stoplight, what happens? Um, so basically, I'm running in drag mode, which puts it in drag suspension, drag traction, and it diverts all the air conditioning to the intercooler performance. So I'm really overheated. <clears throat> now, I've tried launching it in all the different ways, and what I'm about to do is seems to be the best way for this particular surface. I have lowered the pressures, though. We've lowered the pressures in both the cars. And you know what? I'm going to do burnout. All right, that demon's looking mean. It's a, oh, he, he's doing a boot. We don't normally do that, but he broke the rules, so I'm breaking the rules. So I am going to wear a helmet because I don't want to. I don't want to die. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And. Oh, he's catching me! Come on! Come on! No! <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. Ooh, Jesus. This car makes some sounds you don't want it to make. Oh my god, I'm so overheated. Oh god. <laughs> we have said in the past that the Shelby Americans don't feel as, Not as quick. Not quite as quick as they should, no. But the good news is it's, it's a lot cheaper than like a GT500 that has 760 horsepower. No, no, it's not. It's, no, it's different. No, it's it's more. Yeah. Oh, you know why this one? It's it, it, you know it's less power, yeah. but it's the lightweight carbon fiber. Bo oh no, no, it's not no, lightweight. No, but you get to be in the Shelby registry. You're right. I, I I had a great launch there. Yeah, me too. Everything was you know, as good as you can get on a surface like this. We hooked up. 
<laughs> I just absolutely walked past you, my friend. Uh, let's try a uh, let's try a roll race. A roll race? Yeah. All right, is your Shelby registry going to help you there? Um, I'll be remembered though, because I'm registered. <laughs> Look, you can't you can't vote if you don't register. Why would you be able to race if you're not in the Shelby registry? Oh my god. I mean, this sounds good, but <sighs> I've got the snake, but he's got the horns, and I think that's maybe the move here. I got carbon fiber though. Like it's a bit, you know, it's trying to stay on a bit. I don't... And that's when things in the Mustang took a little turn. Yeah, this car's broken. It went into limp mode. Oh, no. All right, so what, what happened exactly? Just, just going down. Yeah. And then uh, it said C manual. Yeah. And it gave me the spanner. And the then it, span oh, and then the, it the cut wrench. the power and then it started misfiring. It is misfiring right now. You can hear it misfiring when it runs. Yeah. Okay, so we got one race in. Well, it was a good race. It was a representative race. We both had good launches. Yes, the car was running fine for that. It felt fine. It so, wasn't misfiring on the main, on that race. No, I don't think so. This uh, was a very obvious change. Okay, so we're just going to let it cool down. Let it, let it cool. We're going to let it cool down? Yeah. Going to have a bubbly? A bubbly. A bubbly. And I'd actually rather be sponsored by someone else, I think. Okay. More of maybe a Dasani or a Dasani. Smart, Dasani. Dasani. smart water. Dasani is awful water. Where have you been? It's I'm, like that like, like aggressively mineralized Thomas, water. Thomas, I still think the Cheesecake Factory is a good restaurant. I. I <laughs> I'm new to this continent-ish. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. That wasn't me, that was the seat. Um, <laughs> good news then is that I haven't got a spanner or a wrench, whatever you guys call it, on the dash. So maybe we're good, maybe we're good. All right, let's uh, try a rolling race between the demon and the busted ass Shelby. See what happens. No limp mode. Shelby American, stay straight. Let the car stay straight. Everyone else, you do what you want. Ah, okay. Okay, we're gonna pop it over into drive as soon as we're ready to go. Don't limp mode. Don't limp mode. Come on, so far so good. So far so good. Ahead. I haven't got limp mode, but he's flying ahead. Okay. Woo! Oh. Oh. You know, this is quick. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. But the demon is quicker. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with no limp mode. That's how far my standard has fallen. So, so it broke again? No. Oh, it didn't break again? No, it was fine. You know what's funny is that the stock curb weight of that, yeah. the, the convertible GT, right. is 400 pounds less than this. Yeah, but this has got stuff going on. And... Yeah, it's got a wide body and some lighter wheels and a supercharger. And you, you're gonna tell me that, that makes it, that's like 700 pounds of stuff? No. No. You know what? I bet you that your S4 can beat it in a race. Don't, don't do that. Line don't, up. Don't do that. Line up. Don't Line make up. my... My S4 has a strong 300 and something horsepower. I believe in it. I believe in it. I'm not even worried about the S4. I'm worried about this going into limp mode for one more race. It looks like we only get one at a time. Now to some, the S4 is not a formidable enemy against somebody with 850 horsepower, but that launch is like an absolute monster. It's stock, but it's still, it's still very, very quick. And this has been underperforming today, so we'll see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. That's, uh, that's limp mode, people. Uh, it says, please see manual. There's a, you hear the engine? Um, it does appear 
that the Mustang was suitably intimidated by an Audi S4 and it just didn't want to, it didn't want to be part of the fight. The, uh, this, uh, I, I don't we need to call it something else other than limp mode, but yes, the car is no longer uh, functioning uh, the, the, the way it was intended, intended to function. Okay, so just for you guys at home, this functioned fine for the, for the main races. Yes, it did. Full power, everything yeah. was fine, yep. no things on the dash, and then it broke again, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So, you didn't hit anything, did you? No. Because that's, that's fully, oh, it's cracked in here. Oh my God. Is it possible that a convertible shouldn't have this much power pushing it? Or? It's, yeah, without any sort of extra bracing. Yeah, well, they removed the brace, I think, for the supercharger to fit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, the, so the chassis is ripping itself in half. Well, we all do that internally, right? Like, I don't, I think we should give the Mustang a break. Um, okay, good day. Uh, yeah, do you want to just leave it here for the tow truck? So or? sorry, so the S4 did win. Oh yeah, it's not a bad car, is it? It's well, it's it was going up against something with three cylinders and sixty-two horsepower. It's cost five times as much, though. <laughs> well, well, there you go. That's a win. Yeah, I guess that doesn't help. No, no. I never did well in debate class. <laughs> so that didn't go as planned. In a battle of bot versus built, bot wins this one. In the moments that it chose to work properly, the Shelby didn't live up to its legendary nameplate. It seems like too many compromises were made in its design. As a promenade queen, it's probably the winner, but out here, it shows the cracks in its facade. The Demon, on the other hand, is still an insane piece of the automotive world. On the street, it's incredibly temperamental to get off the line, but even when you get it sort of right, you better hold on. Thanks for watching.